give you a little glimpse of what you will see when you attend the musical. So we had a few questions earlier, so let's just get it out of the way. The hashtags that some people are asking what the official hashtags are. The official hashtags are Monsters the Musical, Be Brave, and um, if you want to talk about the cast, our hashtag for them is The Brave Cast. Okay, so without further ado, let me just call on Jude Gitamondok to give us a brief idea of how Monsters came to be. Uh, Monsters the Musical is a simple coming of age love story of two childhood friends, namely Bea and El. The intricacies of their relationship that spans years, how they discover themselves through each other, and how they encounter and battle each of their monsters together. And yes, a spoiler to the story, in the end, love wins. Inspired by and woven around the songs of my good friend, Katsuki Espina, and fueled by the unwavering faith and support of fellow thespian Margarita Rasco here, this production truly is an exercise of courage for every one of us. Courage for me, as I take this on as my directorial debut, Courage also for my collaborator, Jaggi Gomez, as he takes this on as his debut as a choreographer for the theater. Courage for the cast as they embark on this journey into complex and difficult characters. Courage for Katsuki as well, for her to allow us to use 25 of her most personal songs to tell this story. And courage for Margot, as well as she debuts MDF production with this new musical, that bangs on the potential of, all, of our local artists and musicians. With this many people taking a chance on each other, I can't help but be grateful for this community that we're in. I hope more people will join us in this exercise of courage. Let's be brave to embrace our differences. Let's be brave to face our fears. Let's be brave to show love, empathy, and compassion to each other. Let's be brave to believe in ourselves. And without much further ado, I present to you a preview of Monsters the Musical. So 
Ito ng duha 
For tea, lagi na kong hila ka. Napsan ko ko one day. Why would I care if you're this and that? In my head, you're not all that. Yeah, you're not that. Abi na kong na jelly ko, tungod kay na crush niya ang crush na ko. Tungod day kay na crush na ko niya.
race, just a race. I've only got one life, and I will live it right. So I'll chase away the fears that has hindered me for years. I've only got one life, and there's nowhere I can find. Mine's so beautiful and strange. It tells me how Because really, we want we want Cebu to see to see this, and I think it's something that we can all be proud of. And so, before I sing, before I get emotional, not because emotional na kugamay, let me call on the three people behind Monsters the Musical, starting with the writer and director, Mr. Jude Gitamondo, the executive producer, Margo Frasco. And of course, the songwriter. The songs will be featured in the musical, Katsuki Espina. Okay, so now the floor is officially open. Did you, when did you realize that, oh my god, I think I'm going to write a musical and it will be featured the songs of Katsuki? Um, Dr. Katsuki and I have been talking about it for a long time now. Um, since, I think, when we first met, right? Um, uh, we're going to do a musical of our songs, but it's only been recently that we really pursued it. Um, uh, uh, partly due to the support of Margo Frasco here, who really did all the legwork to make this happen. So yeah. Uh, but um, the songs, uh, the, the story is really based on the songs. It's, it's inspired by the songs of Katsuki. I've been a Katsuki fan since ever since, so I pretty much know her catalog, so I knew I what kind of story we're gonna tell with this, with her songs. Okay, my next question is directed to Margo. 
Um, what made you say yes to producing Monsters the Musical? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I don't think it was difficult at all to say yes to these two um, highly influential artists here in Cebu. You've got Catskin and you've got Jude. Um, I truly believe, first of all, in the story. Um, not because, you know, well, one of the major factors is because, you know, love wins, you know. And um, being part of that beautiful rainbow community, um, it really touched my heart. Uh, I've been to that same situation before. Um, it's never easy, it's never a walk in the park. And through Katsuki's music that was highly expressed, and through Jude's um, additional expression into the story, that made it even much better. So it was so easy for me to say yes to both of these lovely artists next to me. So I'm very grateful and blessed for that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Margo. My next question is directed to Katsuki. Um, my question is um, after the first reading, the first round of table reading. Uh, with a script and you saw how the songs were inserted into the seats. Your songs were inserted into the seats. How did that make you feel? Um, to be honest, I, I'm still kind of, um, I, still, I still can't believe this. <laughs> like I pinch myself every now and then that um, my songs are now in a musical. I mean, it's, a, it's an honor of a lifetime. Um, I, because these songs are just not as skilled, like I'm not taking care of them per se, I'm not promoting them, it's just on Spotify. And then someone would champion for it and put it in a song, in a musical, it's really a big honor. Um, so regardless of, you know, like after a while, when after the first reading, the scary part was that it spoke a lot about what I went through as a gay person. Um, and all the struggles that I had to go through, but that I didn't tell you. So it's like a, it's more like, uh, am I am I sure about this? I mean, I'm gonna be put in a vulnerable place. Um, but I think, for me, with my journey, I think that nobody should have to hide who they are. And in a way, this is also my coming out story. Hi guys, I'm gay. <laughs> For the information of everybody, if you would like to familiarize yourself with the songs featured in the musical, there's a playlist on Spotify. It's called Monsters the Musical. So check it out. All 25 songs featured in the play will be there. We have a question here from Drew or David. Drew first. <laughs> uh, first, Katsuki, you deserve this. Oh. Honestly, you do. So you can stop pinching yourself because you deserve this. Jude, uh, I just wanted to ask, like, what are your um, musical inspirations for this production? Yeah, um, first and foremost, of course, Katsuki's songs have that really wonderful sound to it. Um, you can, I, I always tell her that it's sort of meant to be because the songs really like uh, embody a, a certain kind of story that's very consistent from beginning to end. And so there's that one particular voice that's really Katsuki that we're trying to put out. Uh, in this musical, and so yeah, I guess the peg would be Katsuki. What, what, uh, what's a better one, a sound than Katsuki's music? No, I mean like what, like, uh, like a musical, like either international or local. Did you get your inspiration from besides the songs? Uh, yeah, um, uh, of these uh, concepts have always been inspired by Broadway. So the storytelling is very much uh, in in the spirit of Broadway musicals. But at the same time, uh, yeah, of course, uh, Dear Evan Hansen is probably uh, what's, what comes to mind right away. But I have to say that Katsuki's music is really uh, just uh, the same level as those uh, Broadway songs. So <laughs> I have no problem at all with trying to adapt it because the songs themselves are really great already. David? Hi. Uh, good job, guys. It sounds amazing. <laughs> so, um, with that, are we gonna hear the music studio version of the musical version <laughs> on Spotify or online? And will we hear it before or after the show? <laughs> oh. <laughs> after. What? Well, um, we'll, we'll, have, we'll be releasing a single. Just uh, a single from just the. Just a single from the musical. Okay. Um, and then, but uh, we'll, we're gonna talk about it in terms of the, the entire thing because you know how costly it is. Yeah, so, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh. Anyone else? Yeah, 
Any other questions? Miss Patty Tabuana from the manual. Hi. Um, so Jude said that you're familiar with like Katsuki's catalog, basically. But like, what was the process of selecting these particular 25 songs, and you know, like basically curating it into one musical? Yeah. Um, some of the considerations I, I made was like what Katsuki song should be like yeah. it's uh, unforgivable if you miss out on that one song so there are those songs but there are also songs where like um, we use songs na TK popular but they really help in the telling of the story and um, that was very important to me that we don't insert songs that are just there for the purpose of putting that wonderful song there. Uh, it, everything has to be justified by the story. And uh, I, I guess um, a lot of the cast were even wondering, they were not familiar with the songs, so they were kind of surprised that, whoa, um, these are songs that actually existed way before the story. And so I, I hope we did a good job with like patching all those songs together. How long did it take for you to put everything together, like with Patsy and you agreeing on which songs? And actually realizing it. It's just him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, the, the, the play itself, I began writing uh, around one year ago. And then we got serious like, was January of this January. year, February. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we started auditions uh, June of this year. And so, but um, I always have that spirit of Broadway as well. Uh, this is a workshop uh, staging. So everything, that's why we have, in fact, uh, ha we've had two critics night so far. So we always make sure that we, we, we improve the story as we go. So nothing is final until we get to, as MC said, probably. Uh, can we hear from the cast? Can they uh, introduce themselves and their roles? And go for it, guys. What's their favorite Katsuki song? Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackie Gomez. Hi. I'm part of the ensemble and I'm also the choreographer for the musical. Yes. And my favorite Gatsby song would be uh, Same Risk. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Love song, man. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Ivy and I'm part of the ensemble. And my favorite song is At Light. Okay. Oh. Hi, I'm Bon Song and I play Jake and also the ensemble. Um, Go on. My favorite song is Monsters. Hi guys, my name is Andrew Diamante. I play Jake, and my favorite song would be Hello to Years. Hello. 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 I'm Trixie Alturas. I play L, and my favorite song is Also Light. <laughs> um, hello, my name is uh, I am Sean Pilapil, and my favorite Katsuki song is Smitten. Oh, oh I'll be playing L. <laughs> and my favorite song is uh, Smitten. Um, hi, I am Jackie. Um, I play Bea and my favorite Katsuki songs. <laughs> Can I pick like, at least three? Oh, no, what? That's the number one. Same risk. Um, light, Smitten. Hi everyone, I'm Eliza Miola. I also play Bea. Um, I have two favorite songs in this play, so it's also Light and See You. Uh, good afternoon guys, my name is Les Paul. I'm playing Dex, and my ultimate cats, favorite Katsuki song is Gap, and then pag about sa zero, okay, I'm See You. <laughs> Hi guys, so um, I'm Marlon Tansenko. I also play the role of Dex. Um, my favorite song, um, my favorite Katsuki song is um, Same Risk. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Yon Meningo. Um, I'm part of the ensemble as well. Uh, my favorite songs would be um, My Third Songs, My Third and Light. Um, yes, hi everyone, I'm George Villior. Uh, I'm one of the ensemble. And my favorite Katsuki song, it was my audition piece, Monsters. <laughs> English are basically, but there's also this yes, uh, Saya. Because we want to establish that the setting is really here in Cebu. Okay. It's time we tell stories of Cebu, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We have a question from Isa. Yeah. What were the challenges with, with like the story making and meeting up like from the very beginning meeting up? 
it's been pretty smooth. I, I don't want to say that it's completely gone perfect, but um, I'm really happy with the people I'm working with right now. And I've, I've never met a more awesome set of artists that are working together. Um, maybe just the koan. Uh, probably it's like um, time, amount, uh, amount of time that we had to invest in this. Because, uh, as you know, a lot of our actors are really uh, full time, so they have work. So we cannot really do like a Broadway thing, uh, it's from afternoon to evening. So we just have to work with their schedule. And I think that's the, as far, the most difficult part of it. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> Drew? Uh, yes. Um, we have a pre-show called um, Monsters Night. It's going to be in um, 856G um, Gallery. Um, we're just having a couple. The, the cast will will play, and then we have we'll have we'll be having a pre-selling of the tickets discounted uh, October 26. Um, 856G. I'll be playing. Um, uh, there will be bands. Wongo is uh, Lourdes Maglinte. Jerica Teodorico, who will be playing, and who else? Mary Anchet. Mary Anchet, who will be playing, and they'll be playing some of my songs. Okay. So it's just, be, and then there'll be, we, we're doing a contest for, not really a contest, right? Like it's a, it's an exhibit, like we've invited artists to um, interpret into a visual piece um, what they think about the synopsis of the play. So we're going to be showing that, maybe selling them to, to raise funds or something. <coughs> <laughs> no, um, we um, actually, I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna be reaching out to um, LGBT groups um, who would help us in um, spreading the word. I mean, we feel like, um, you know, LGBT is like considered forbidden or a sin or something, and this is one of those plays that tries to um, uh, disagrees with that. So. But we've had uh, one of our cast members who is not here is playing the father of one of the characters. He saw the play and his CIC. But he said that it's pretty much gone. Pretty much the students. Um, it's about time that we talk about these things without batting an eyelash. I mean, there should shouldn't be an issue with this. So hopefully, hinahinay lang. Siro na to aton pero. You know, we're we're doing this because we're brave about uh, uh, talking about these things. And I have to say, um, Kwan, uh, smooth kaya ang muang trabaho because of Marco because she really made it all possible. I, I couldn't have asked for a better executive producer. So, kana siya. <laughs> Drew has something to say. <laughs> no, like I was telling, uh, like I was telling Mana that um, I genuinely love musical theater. I do. I mean, like I've, I, I travel just to watch musical theater, and like uh, the one musical that kind of reminds me of it is like uh, I don't know if you've heard uh, Beautiful, the Carol King musical. So it's kind of like it's the songs of Carol King made into a musical. I watched it in Broadway last November, I think. So it, this kind of reminds me of that, and like that. Um, that number with Jackie and was it Trixie? Yeah, Trixie. Kind of reminded me of like a moment in like, where was it? Probably like Dear Evan Hansen and, and Les Paul also. That moment was like very like Dear Evan Hansen. I genuinely love it. I think Cebu deserves this. I, as a musical theater lover, I think there should be an appreciation of musical theater in our youth now. So I think you guys are gonna be like the gateway drug to like to that. Aww, so thank you. Job. Thank you, Drew. Anyone else? Carlo? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me ask logistics questions. Uh, for those who are also wondering, 
how can they get um, tickets to the show and when will the physical tickets be available for purchasing? The physical tickets will be, will be available October 26 at 856G, but it will be in our pockets on the 20th. So if you need it, like just message our Facebook page and we'll, we'll try our best to get it to you. Um, it'll be also be available in, in the Mango area, in our studio. There's also a Titais in Raintree Mall. We might reach out to Hondurao. Um, for it, um, the ticket prices are three fifty, seven hundred, and a thousand. Yeah. So very, very good rates. FYI, on social media, we're on Facebook, Monsters the Musical. We're also on Instagram, Monsters the Musical. So if we have, we have a website too, we have a website as well. So any announcement, you just go there, and it it will all we will always update it when we have some new stuff. So any other questions, guys? So no, <laughs> no, 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 you know what? You use the mindset. <laughs> so you have it for two days, right? Yeah. What are the plans after? Do you plan to keep doing it? Like, after this? What are the plans after the day? You want to die. For sure. Um, you know, I can't wait. Hopefully, the world will definitely will have a. A uh, second run. Okay, that's all in the public, no? So we definitely have to have a second run now. So that's just made a major announcement no. right there. <laughs> so yes, definitely. Um, we'll we'll see on how everything will turn out. Um, I'm sure it's going to be in a on the positive end. Um, so yes, definitely in mid, hopefully mid next year, we should have another month, and we can we'll make it even even more colorful. Okay. We also have plans to pitch to Manila because we've been getting like emails. Are you staging in Manila? Blah blah blah. But uh, we can't afford it yet. So you know, we're, we'll try. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully. I just have to say that um, producing a musical theater, uh, musical production here in Cebu is really um, challenging financially. Um, we have we all have to admit it. Uh, usually, our producers, based on my years of experience usually we don't earn anything on the first run so we, we uh, that's why we really need your help to get the word across because um we need a lot of support for this to continue Be <laughs>